Hello everybody and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11. If you're looking for something fun to do, especially if you're creative, artistic, or into music, or maybe all three, we have the event for you coming up on February 6th. And here to tell us about it is Marianne Tobos. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. You were from Tidewater Arts Outreach. We have a great fun auction and celebration of instruments event coming up. Tell me all about it. Yes, we do. It's called the Instruments of Art Celebration and Auction. It'll be Saturday night, February 6th at Decorum Furniture, which is in Ghent, Norfolk. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful furniture store that opens their space up, pushes the furniture back, and allows us to come in this year with a Cuban theme. So we will be partying with food and refreshments. Cuba Libra drink, I think, is going to be our <laughs> theme drink that night. Uh, live music, and most importantly, 40 beautiful instruments old musical instruments that have been transformed and now they are works of art like this gorgeous piece that we have with us today. And this is beading that's on this, correct? This is a beaded instrument and it's a beautiful piece made by Nikki Hopkins. Mm -hmm. um, as amazing as this is, we have 40 works of, of art that are all inspiring and have beauty of their own and really span the globe as far as choice of materials and um, theme that they yes. chose, the artist chose. So it will be an inspiration just to see these instruments and they will all go home that night through uh, live and silent auction formats okay. uh, which will raise money for the charity Tidewater Arts Outreach that I founded to share the joy and healing power of the arts with people who can't get out and experience the arts in our society. And tell me how long Tidewater Arts Reach has been around. Tidewater Arts Outreach started in 2004, and this auction actually has been happening um, for about seven years. Okay. Uh, just to go back to this artwork, I'm, I'm just amazed at what, as the quality of artwork that we will have for display, mm -hmm. and very humbled that by um, the fact that dozens of artists have chosen to spend their time and their talents to create these beautiful works. It tells me that this mission that we have of bringing the arts to those who are underserved in our community really mm -hmm. resonates with our arts community. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, very inspired by these gifts that these artists have brought. Yes. We, uh, at, at Tidewater Arts Outreach, we use all of the arts. We use poetry and mm -hmm. drama and dance and songwriting and singing to help people who have special needs and who are in crisis or in congregate care settings like assisted living facilities and hospitals and shelters. We, um, we use our artists, community artists, to go and connect with them okay. and share art with them, meaningful arts experience, like, like moms and kids power bead bracelet mm -hmm. making at a crisis shelter. And those power beads had words of hope and words of resilience. And so, or songwriting with kids yeah. who are in crisis situation and the process of writing a song about how I'm gonna get up and how the colors of the rainbow and diversity is a beautiful thing that I want to embrace in my life. This affirming, encouraging kind of programming allows people in our, in crisis and people mm -hmm. with special needs to, to really thrive. connect. Sure, and to experience wellness and get to that next level of um, of wellness in their lives. Now, if someone wants to get involved with the arts outreach in general, what, what should they do? Maybe hit the Facebook page? Sure, we've got a website um, and we've got a Facebook page. We've got a lot of resources on Pinterest and okay. we send out things on Instagram so people can connect through a variety of social media. But our calendar of programs, for instance, is on yes. our website and we've also published that on messages through Facebook, but the mm -hmm. website's a great place to go. You know, we do dozens of programs every month in seven cities in Hampton Roads. Nice. And we invite people to come to these programs, to many of them, to see what we're doing. And of particular um, interest for those visitations are the programs that we do with the elderly. Okay. And the, we serve many, many elderly. We serve thousands of people every year, but I'd say about four or 5,000 elderly people in dozens of uh, nursing homes and assisted yeah. living facilities. They need visitors, they thrive on that, so we want people to come and visit. Now we have just a moment left. Talk a little bit about how maybe winter time would be perfect to get out and do this. You're not outside doing a lot of things. It gets dark early, so this has got to be a great you know, way to come get your feet wet and get a taste of the arts. It's true. Um, you know, not only our programs where we, we want people to come and we want them to paint with the people that we serve or sing or dance or create poetry, um, 
people can, you know, people in the community are invited to engage in all of that with us. But this February 6th event is mm -hmm. a great time, we think, to get out and celebrate with us in a fun way um, with some dancing, live music, food and libations, all going toward a great cause. Marianne, we are out of time. I could sit here and talk to you about this and this great instrument all afternoon, but thank you so much for being here and sharing this information with thank us. Thank you very much, Kevin. Visit the website and check out this great event on February 6th. For Hot Ticket, I'm Kevin Hornsby.